You are listening to the new Mutual Audio Network. Welcome home. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Good morning, everyone. I'm David Alt, driving solo today on the Sonic Society, even though I did say that uh, Jack would be with me. He's not. He's obviously preparing for his birthday. But this is the Sonic Society, the world's largest and longest-running showcase of modern audio drama. Jack stuck for the weekend in his classroom, desperately working on lessons for his second semester. Luckily, he left us with some amazing audio drama as we feature the first two episodes of Carrier, starting Cynthia Erivo with Black Hole and Bolt Seal. So we'll shift down to get up the hills as we continue right here on the Sonic Society. Sign up for Q Code Plus on Apple Podcasts to receive early access to new episodes, exclusive bonus content, and more. And use Apple Card to earn up to 3% daily cash back on everything. Subject to credit approval. Are you listening? Good. This is not a podcast. This is not an audio book. This is a dimensional experience set in the unseen realms to your left, your right, and all that lingers between. Between, between. We ask that you put on headphones if possible. Use caution during your journey and always listen carefully. Q Code presents Carrier. Starring Cynthia Arrivo. Written and directed by Dan Blank. Medical card. Everything seems to be in order here. Except your vehicle registration. How's that now? Who is Earl Watts again? Um, yeah, yeah I told you. That's my father. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, why are you driving his rig? I, I'm just covering for him. It's temporary. Look, look, I, I didn't do anything illegal, right? We'll find out. But, we'll find out. I'm just waiting on confirmation from your fleet. Just sit tight, Miss Watson. Hopefully we'll get you on your way shortly. Okay, because I really need to get this trailer delivered on Ma'am? time. If it- Ma'am? Sit tight, or this can take a heck of a lot longer. Thank you. Right. Thanks, officer. What was that? Uh Uh-huh. What'd you say? Thanks. Thank you, officer. Did did I say something? No, no, it's not what you said. It's how you said it. I don't appreciate your attitude. My my attitude? See, there it is again. Right there. uh, Please, I'm being very respectful, but but if I miss my delivery window, they dot me. That's too bad, Miss Watts, because I got nowhere else to be today. A lot of human trafficking cases on this road. Do you know that? Not to mention drugs. You never know what you might find during a routine stop. You seem anxious. Are there any weapons aboard this vehicle? No, that's against regulation. That's not what I asked, Miss Watts. Uh, no. No, sir. Good. Because I'm out here sweating like a pig, but I'll happily unpack this entire truck on suspicion. I, Would you like that? <laughs> what was that? What? That look. No, I, no there, there was no look. Oh, okay, step out of the vehicle. What? I didn't do anything. Step out of the vehicle or I'll rip you out. No, I'm not. No, let go of me. Get out of the vehicle, Miss Watts. No, I'm not. 12 wait, no, no, wait, wait. Send there's another unit. There's no, there's there's one thing. The, the dash cam. What dash the, cam? The, the, the one the fleet installed. It, 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 it streams them the whole time. Oh, really? Where is it? Yeah. it it's right there. Behind me. 1202, what's your tweet? 1202, do you copy? God damn it. God damn it, this... Yet it's not happening. Ah, shit. 
Hey, Loretta. The distribution center just called. I'm almost there. I'm sorry. I, I got pulled over. Oh, Christ. What for? What do you think? Ray, do you know how much Hallmark finds the shipper if you're late? Enough that it takes a chunk out of my ass, too. Don't worry. I'm not gonna be late. You're late. Yeah, but only by a minute. It doesn't matter. System won't even let me check you in. You're gonna have to reschedule for tomorrow. No, you can't, you can't do that. I'm not. Hallmark is. Come on, man. It's just a drop and hook. You can unload that trailer anytime you want. And if I make exceptions, I get dinged for your fleet screw up. Please, please. I can't come back. My, da my dad's in the hospital. All right. We're gonna say driver arrived on property at 559. I couldn't locate her paperwork until 602. What? That, that's not... Door 152. You got 10 minutes. 152. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, uh, which door am I picking up at? Come again? I I'm dropping off, but I'm also grabbing a loaded trailer for Chicago. <laughs> you should call your dispatch, hon. That ship is sailed. I don't know what to tell you, hon. When it looked like you were a no-show, the system automatically diverted the load to another driver. I needed that trailer, Loretta. Well, it's not like I have any control. If I bobtail this truck all the way back to Chicago after fuel costs, I'll end up owing the fleet money. Uh-huh. And if you fly home and leave that truck gathering dust in some yard, they'll really screw you. I'm looking at your GPS. Where are you now, Independent? Just outside. Some busted truck stop. I hate Missouri. Well, you're approaching a 10-hour break anyway. Take a shower, get some rest, check back in the morning, and hopefully we'll have a backhaul sorted out for you, okay? Okay, uh, it's just, I told you my family needs me home tomorrow, right? I'm supposed to be helping out with my dad and... Hey, Ray, I'm sorry, I gotta take this. But don't sweat it. There's a driver shortage right now. Something else will come through. And what if it doesn't? Let's deal with it in the AM, okay? Good night. Hot day. Hot day. Look at you. Look at you. Hey, yo, crap. Where are you going, sister? What? Yeah, I'm Chaplain Dave. I run the Heavenly Highway Ministry. Oh, uh, um, s some other time. Uh, well, yeah, well, you, you have a blessing. Are you 118, sweetie? Yep. Uh, where are the showers? It's just straight past Barbara on your left. Oof. She's all uh. yours. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's just a slight delay, but by seven, I should I should know what the deal is. Okay. Any updates from your brother? Yeah, the doctors still don't know what's wrong. Um, I'll I'll deal with it tomorrow. Yeah, here, baby, can you? I need I need you to move the camera. Mm -hmm. All I can see right now is mac and cheese. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see. Now, isn't this nice? Hold, hold on. 
Um, Jamil, what are you eating? Uh, ice cream. Uh, well, why aren't you eating all the nice food DeAndre made you? Okay. Mm-hmm. He could have his ice cream first, but then he promised to eat two pieces of chicken and all of his salad. Ain't that right? Mm-hmm. You're gonna get my five year old to eat salad. <laughs> it's not salad. It's cool hey, hey, it counts. <laughs> and and wh- why on earth is his mouth all blue? Is his mouth blue? Uh, it is blue. It's very blue. blue. Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, we 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 picked up ices after school. Ices and ice cream. Right. Oh. You no I- Listen, you have no idea how hot the city has been. You're right. You you are right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're being a, a huge help. It's just it's just one more night. Well, let's hope because this one's been having nightmares and could really use his mama right now. Nightmares? Jamil. He's worried Florida's got to be underwater before he ever gets to Orlando. <laughs> Seems someone's been filling his head with stories. They're not stories. Why do you keep acting like it's fake? Oh, God. Please tell me you did not let her read the news again. We were at the library. D- I, I didn't see what she was looking at. DeAndre, she, she's eight. Yeah, and I shouldn't be the one to decide what they can and can't know about. Sorry, that's someone else's job. Wow. No, that's not what I meant. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Before investing with RBC, I'll be honest, I was nervous. Where do I begin? Was it the right time? Do I even have enough to start investing? With RBC, I realized that, yeah, I did have enough. Because you can get started with just a few dollars a week. And the tools and expertise I get with RBC made it easy. Turns out, I couldn't afford not to invest. Learn more at rbc.com slash start investing. Sign up for Q Code Plus on Apple Podcasts to receive early access to new episodes, exclusive bonus content, and more. And use Apple Card to earn up to 3% daily cash back on everything. Subject to credit approval. Hey, listeners. This is Anna Ferris from Q Code's newest show, The Peepkins, available now wherever you get your podcasts. This show is sponsored by Audible, which you can now enjoy through Alexa. It's the perfect hands-free companion when you're cooking, cleaning, or relaxing this holiday season. The best thing about the holiday season is spending it with family and enjoying your time together, which is exactly what Audible on Alexa is all about this season. An opportunity for great connection shared with the whole family enjoying the holiday classics. Just imagine the smell of cookies in the air while Hugh Grant narrates A Christmas Carol. That's just one title we can't wait to listen to. One of the best holiday classics with one of the best voices. Not only can Alexa read your book, but you can change the narration speed and even get book recommendations from her. If you're looking for your next book, just say, Alexa, recommend me an audiobook. Or if you miss something while listening, too busy in the kitchen, simply say, Alexa, go back 30 seconds and continue to enjoy. Hands-free listening has never been easier. Alexa customers can listen to A Christmas Carol narrated by Hugh Grant on Alexa for free the entire month of December. Just say, Alexa, read A Christmas Carol. Offer only available in the U.S. I can't keep doing this to you. Hey, 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 I'm not going anywhere. Like, I love your kids. Even if they see me as just some dude, they can kind into giving them sugar cereal and Xbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, you didn't say anything about Xbox. Well, I can't hide it all the time, okay? <laughs> I got needs too, you know? <laughs> now look, you're doing a good thing. But I do think we need to talk about your exit strategy, because this, this is not sustainable. I know. I know. This job's gonna kill me. I keep seeing all these ragged, morbidly obese drivers out here, and I'm worried I'm slowly turning into one of them. Uh, yeah, that's a picture. Babe, I can't remember the last time I saw a salad. 
My skin is broken out. My ass is getting big. My hair reeks of diesel. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? I just, I just need to hear more about this big ass. Oh my God. <laughs> Look, hey. Are you, are you for real? I'm for real. You know, you've been on the road for what, three weeks? My imagination you ain't can, shit. You cannot details. be serious. You're crazy. Am I crazy? Oh. Am I crazy? <laughs> Hang on, just give me one second. Let me get situated. But will you lock the door, Lise, please? Okay, okay. That's a good call. Let me lock the door. Let me pull this old, uh. Wait, shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Baby. Stay with me. I. I think someone's trying to break into my gap. What? Are you serious? Yeah, some dirtbags were fucking with me earlier. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, you got protection? Just, just a tire thumper, but I, but I left it up front. I, I'm getting it. Ray, hey, Ray. Don't do anything <laughs> stupid. Hey. Hey. You need any company tonight? Uh, no... No, thank you. Oh. I do girls, too, you know. Nope. Nope, not interested. Uh, <sighs> suck a bitch. Oh, oh my God. Hey, what was that? <sighs> Lot lizard. <sighs> Just let me go home. Just Google Masanto Roundup lawsuit, Ray. Terrell, I do not care. You don't care about millions of dollars. You're supposed to be looking after Dad, not figuring out how to get rich off him. Besides, Dad drove for so many companies, who are you even gonna sue? Whatever. When are you gonna get here? Yeah, about that. I'm still waiting for a trailer, but nothing's coming through, so I may need you to stay with Dad one more night. No. No, no, Ray, you probably- I can't ask DeAndre to help. He's already doing so much with the kids. But I got my own shit to deal with. I have a job too, you know. Are you for real? Selling supplements? I need you to stop thinking about yourself and your schemes for a moment and step the fuck up. Step up? Step up? Do you know how much I've been dealing with alone? I shower him. I feed him. I get him dressed. Get him to the doctor. I'm sorry. Digging I'm... through his junk piles of fire, medical records and insurance cards. Dealing with his clients? Clients? Dad doesn't have any clients. I don't know, like, customers. The ones who keep calling his phone. Wait, shippers? That doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they calling the fleet? You asking me? Folks, this is Chaplain Dave here. The Heavenly Highway Ministry is going to be starting our evening service shortly. Stop by our trailer chapel if you're looking for faith, fellowship, or just some free lemonade. I wish I could do something, Ray, but that traffic stop lowered your performance rating, so you're just churning at the bottom of the queue. It's not me. It's a system. It's always the system, isn't it? Listen, um... Is there any chance I could maybe deal directly with the shipper? <laughs> you're kidding, right? Drivers are paid to drive, hun. The fleet handles the rest. Right. That's what I assumed. But thanks anyway, Loretta. What's up? Hey, you still have Dad's phone? Yeah, I think I... It's in his room. You mind getting me those numbers? Truck drivers are the heroes of America's highways. If you encounter anything suspicious or unusual to address, Hello? Is this Mr. Caldwell? Who's this? Um, my name's Raylene Watts. Uh, I'm Earl's daughter. Oh, all right, all right. I think I spoke to your brother. Yeah. <clears throat> your daddy doing any better? No, um, they still can't diagnose what's wrong. Well, hopefully it's nothing too serious. Yeah. Hey, uh... If you're still looking for a driver, um, I'm covering Earl's assignments while he's laid out. Huh. Well, I'm not really looking to start somebody new right now. I don't need any new training. I've been hauling every kind of freight for the last ten years, and I'm damn good at what I do. I'm sure you are. You do know there's a driver shortage right now, right? You're not going to have any luck finding someone else to take on this load at such short notice. Right. We'll see. 
Have your daddy give us a buzz when he's feeling better. Automated voice messaging system. Hey, you never check your voicemail, so um, I don't even know why I bother. But but if Dad wakes up, can you uh, can you please call me? I don't I don't know what he was up to, but I need to ask him about these side clients because I'm trying to get home. But at this point, I I really don't know what else I can do. and now these. ELD computers yipping at us over every infraction. It can be hard to squelch out all the noise and hear the voice of the one true Lord. So I ask that you take a moment as a community to join in a silent meditation and pray for our Lord and Savior to take a shift in the driver's seat so he may steer us in the right direction. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Hello? You ever driven a reefer? What? A refrigerated trailer. Do you know how to handle one? Oh, uh... Yeah. Yeah, of course. How quick can you get on the road? Carrier. Starring Cynthia Erivo as Raylene Watts. Written, directed, and edited by Dan Blank. Produced by Rob Herding, David Henning, Brian Cavanaugh Jones, Fred Berger, and Cynthia Arrivo. Recorded, mixed, and mastered by Salt Audio. With performances by Steve Howey, Dale Dickey, Joel McKinnon Miller, Lamorne Morris, Byron Bowers, Chris Ellis, Robert Longstreet, Oliver Cooper, Dan Blank, Perry Matfeld, Nate Torrance, Ashley Becerra, Sidney Thomas, Josai Curtis, Randy Heller, James Wellington, Lance Reddick, and Elliot Gould. Original music and score by Jamie Sheffman and Noah Gersh for Salt Audio. Sound designed by Sam Plattner. Dimensional audio designed by Salt Audio and Dan Blank. Associate producer Tess Ryan. Script supervision by Sam Beasley. Casting by Chelsea Block and Marisol Roncalli at Atomic Honey. Additional country music by Mr. Paradise. Recorded at Todd A.O. Studios. Hello, listeners. We've launched a Q-Code merch store. You can now pre-order items from some of your favorite shows, including Baraska t-shirts and hats and even an edge of sleep candle. Head on over to shop.qcodemedia.com to check out all the offerings right now. Plus, the first 50 orders will get a free Q-Code patch. Again, that's shop.qcodemedia.com. Plus, if you want an extra discount on your merch, make sure you sign up for Q-Code Plus to unlock a 10% off code. More pieces and more shows are being added to the store all the time, so be sure to check back frequently. We also want to hear from you, so send us a tweet at Q-Code Media and let us know what shows you want to see some merch for. Football is back, and so is your chance to win with Bet Rivers Sportsbook app. Featuring our new multi game, same game parlay, combine the action of multiple same game parlays in one bet for even more action. Bet the spread, bet the over, bet player props, and more. Throw in award winning customer service, and it's a touchdown. Bet Rivers Sportsbook app. It's a whole new game. Must be 19 plus, available in Ontario only. Please play responsibly. If you have questions or concerns about your gambling or someone close to you, please contact Connects Ontario at 1 866 531 2600 to speak to an advisor free of charge. Sign up for Q Code Plus on Apple Podcasts to receive early access to new episodes, exclusive bonus content, and more. And use Apple Card to earn up to 3% daily cash back on everything. Subject to credit approval. Previously on Carrier. 
I needed that trailer, Loretta. I told you my family needs me home tomorrow, right? Look, just Google Masanto Roundup Lost. Terrell, race. you're supposed to be looking after Dad, not figuring out how to get rich off him. Whatever. When you gonna get here? Yeah, about that. I'm still waiting for a trailer, but nothing's coming through, so I may need you to stay with Dad one more no, night. No, no, right? You know how much I've been dealing with? I'm sorry. Dealing with his clients? Clients? Dad doesn't have any clients. I don't know, like customers. Shippers? Why aren't they calling the fleet? Drivers are paid to drive, hun. The fleet handles the rest. Right. That's what I assume. Hello? Is this Mr. Caldwell? Who's this? My name's Raylene Watts. All oh, right. Your daddy doing any better? No. They still can't diagnose what's wrong. If you're still looking for a driver, I'm covering Earl's assignments while he's later. You ever driven a reefer? What? A refrigerated trailer. Do you know how to handle one? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. How quick can you get on the road? Are you listening? Good. This is not a podcast. This is not an audiobook. This is a dimensional experience set in the unseen realms to your left, your right, and all that lingers between. Between, between. We ask that you put on headphones if possible. Use caution during your journey and always listen carefully. Q Code presents Carrier, starring Cynthia Arrivo. Written and directed by Dan Blank. I'm sorry, I just don't see what Rush has to do with any of this. Maybe you should turn off the faux news and pay attention to history for a change. This whole crisis began when we started selling our grain to the Soviets. Increased farming led to higher land values and lower interest rates. Then, a Cold War comes along and the Gipper decides, gee, maybe we shouldn't be selling our grape nuts to Mr. Gorbachev. So, property values nosedive. The banks foreclose on old McDonald, and that's when these beings start snatching up farmland for themselves on the cheap. <laughs> right. To grow corn? Not corn, you sheep. A cereal grain resembling corn. To convert into high fructose syrup. For plumping up the masses before the rest of their species arrival on this planet. Christ, what more do you need? <laughs> what on earth are you listening to? Just some CB. Mm. But I gotta leave it on just in case he tips me off to any bears on my front door. Whoa! They are bears? <laughs> he means cops. What you call them? Well, I don't want your mom running into either out there. Are you sure you're gonna be all right doing this? You don't think I can handle myself? I, that, no, I, look, listen, <laughs> I mean, what if your dad was mixed up in something? Uh, like what, arms dealing? <laughs> hey, hey, you're the one who said that you were picking up from a farm, right? Right? Now, you didn't specify what they grow there. Here we go, my 70-year-old father, the mule, <laughs> right? Okay. What's a mule? It's what bears hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you still have that police scanner, right, right? Oh, all of you. Enough. I'm going to be safe and sound at home before any of you even wake up. Maybe, maybe if you're lucky, I'll even drive you to school. In the truck? Would you like that? Yeah! No. Mom, seriously, you cannot take that truck to school. Oh, oh, you watch me. I'm going to roll into that drop-off line with all the other parents and just sneak up behind one of those PTA moms in her bougie SUV. And the second, the second, the second I see her glancing down on her phone, you know what I'm going to do? Mom, don't. I'm going to give her a woo <laughs> Malika, she's just messing with you. She's great. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Ray. Now, I'm the one who has to lure her back here. Ray? Ray, you, st Ray, you still there? Hey, hey, hey sorry. I, I think I just... I think I just pulled up. Everything cool? Yeah. Yeah, it's just... I, it's just not what I was expecting. Can I help you? Uh, hi, I, I'm, I'm picking up. Okay, you got your driver number? Uh, 68306. Okay. Right. What is it? Um, it's not a farm. 
Not exactly. It's more industrial, like chemical refineries. Lots of security. Okay, you know where you're going? Uh, not really. Okay, you're gonna follow the service road along these greenhouses and turn right at the grain bins. You'll see the packing house. Okay. Wait, is that a dash cam? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's gotta go off. Phones too. You serious? Yeah. Uh, uh, babe, I'll have to call you back once I'm on the road. Thanks. What the hell is this place? Excuse me? Hey, hello? What the hell are you doing back here? I I'm picking up a trailer. Well, you're early. We're not even loading yet. Well, where should I go then? You're gonna have to come back. Oh, I'm not coming back. Sorry, but who the fuck are you? Chef, Chef, that's, that's enough. Are you Raylene? Ray's fine. Mr. Caldwell? Noah. Sorry, everybody's a little on edge tonight. Mm -hmm. A heat wave on top of harvest season isn't the best thing for morale. Mm -hmm. Why don't you throw it in park and come on inside? We'll get your paperwork sorted out while Shep finishes loading you up. Just focus on your job so she can get on the road. Grab the other boys to help. Do, do, do what I'm telling you. Raylene, you got a jacket? Uh, just a hoodie. Good. You're liable to need it. You all right? I should have warned you about the cold room. I'll be fine. Just might take me a minute. Bouncing between environments is a good way to catch pneumonia, but we have to keep pretty strict temperature controls around the products. What do you grow here? Depends on what Novanto needs at the moment. This is one of their research farms, so we field test a lot of their agrochemical products. Right now, we got a few dozen acres of soybeans, squash, tomatoes, corn. I see. Well, why is everyone wearing hazmat suits? <laughs> you a truck driver or a reporter? Just curious. Just curious. Health code regulation. One lawsuit against the company and suddenly everybody needs to cover their keister. Okay, over this way. Sorry, it's a little easier on the eardrums in here. Vending machine's over there. Can I get you a coffee? Not a bad idea before an all-nighter. Uh, yeah. Sure, thanks. Are you all right? You seem confused. No, no, it, this just isn't the kind of farm I was expecting. How's that? Well, well, to be honest, I assumed you'd be some small local world who couldn't afford to deal with the fleet's overages, not some... Multinational yeah. conglomerate. Well, personally, I like to keep things a little more familial around here. With a fleet, you never know who they might dump on you. Your dad and I go way back. Is that right? Oh, yeah. I used to make him swing by LC's barbecue every time he passed through Kansas City. Always had to be sure he, he asked, asked for the burnt ends. For the burnt ends. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't shut up about that place. It's just weird. He he never mentioned having a dedicated route out here. Well, <clears throat> when you logged as many miles as he had, maybe this just didn't seem that noteworthy. Or maybe he just wanted to keep his fleet's hands off the triple pay. Triple. You pay one twenty per mile for hauling corn. One twenty-five <laughs> plus free coffee. Now let's go get you that paperwork. It's a tight schedule. You hand off to the receiver by five a.m. so you don't get too many pit stops. Also, you'll have to pulp the air and keep an eye on the temp gauge with this heat wave, and just don't let it get above thirty-two. Thirty-two. Cool. Okay. Now Pam here's gonna get you sorted out with your B.O.L. Pam, this is Miss Watts. She's going to be taking over the Chicago route tonight. Wait, where, where's Earl? Earl couldn't make it, but Ray here is damn good at what she does. A world-renowned produce hauler, ain't that right? Uh, yeah, you bet. <laughs> Let's hope so. Once Shep finishes loading, he'll get you the SLC info in your outbound way. Uh, hold up, I, I don't get to expect it first? <laughs> well, for liability reasons, we bolt seal all our trailers. Novanto's policy. That's not going to be a problem, is it? No, not exactly. You sure? Because 
Shep's got somebody else that wants this load. Hey, uh, drivers are paid to drive, right? At Capital One, we like to ask, what do you see when you see you? Your own place? With your own Chesterfield, sofa, couch, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> or a set of wheels. Or these ones. How about the pleasure of an actual working dryer? Or maybe just a companion to spoil. Good boy. If you believe it, Capital One does too. That's why we offer products and services that can help you build the credit to get there. You've got this. We've got you. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Sign up for Q Code Plus on Apple Podcasts to receive early access to new episodes, exclusive bonus content, and more. And use Apple Card to earn up to 3% daily cash back on everything. Subject to credit approval. Hey, listeners, this is Anna Ferris from Q Code's newest show, The Peepkins, available now wherever you get your podcasts. This show is sponsored by Audible, which you can now enjoy through Alexa. It's the perfect hands free companion when you're cooking, cleaning, or relaxing this holiday season. The best thing about the holiday season is spending it with family and enjoying your time together, which is exactly what Audible on Alexa is all about this season. An opportunity for great connection shared with the whole family enjoying the holiday classics. Just imagine the smell of cookies in the air while Hugh Grant narrates A Christmas Carol. That's just one title we can't wait to listen to. One of the best holiday classics with one of the best voices. Not only can Alexa read your book, but you can change the narration speed and even get book recommendations from her. If you're looking for your next book, just say, Alexa, recommend me an audiobook. Or if you miss something while listening, too busy in the kitchen, simply say, Alexa, go back 30 seconds and continue to enjoy. Hands-free listening has never been easier. Alexa customers can listen to A Christmas Carol narrated by Hugh Grant on Alexa for free the entire month of December. Just say, Alexa, read A Christmas Carol. Offer only available in the U.S. permitted others to do in their lives, that we should be so deserving of God's wrath. I think if the end of times are in fact upon us, we should simply prepare ourselves and our loved ones to be bathed in the light of Jesus. Jesus. Enough already. What's it? Loretta? I figured you'd gone home for tonight. I'm looking at the map. Are you on the road? Uh, yeah, why? I didn't want to leave you dangling in the wind another night. I know you're going through a lot right now, so I put out a few calls. Y you did? There's a bottling plant in KC with a freight to Milwaukee. It's not Chicago, but it gets you pretty close. You really didn't have to do that. I had a meat packer with a direct route, but you're just not qualified. They needed someone with experience pulling a reefer trailer. Oh, uh, right. Hey, that's all good. So... How quickly can you head back to Kansas City? Um, I appreciate you looking out for me. I really do, but uh, I may have a backhaul worked out already. Psychic? Yeah. I see. Good for you, hon. Just be careful with the rig, okay? Your dad's truck is still financed through the fleet, so if anything happens to it, they could reclaim the vehicle. Oh, uh, all right. Um, I'll be careful. Uh, say, uh, you know anything about liability on a preloaded trailer? You got the shipper's load and count listed on the BOL, right? Yeah, it's all there. Then you should be fine. Right? I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. 
Night, Loretta. Caboose friend, you be my guest. But old Hutch here, he knows every mile marker on these backcountry highways. And I'll wager there's a county bounty with a laser lurking in those bushes. So you keep yanking that horn like it's your manhood, but it ain't gonna get me to move one thin butt hair above 55. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, try to warn him. Young ones never want to listen to the old dog, but this old hound, he can sniff out a shit storm a mile away. <laughs> How's your night treating you, driver? I can see your lights back there. I know you're tuned in, otherwise you'd have joined our friend in receiving his driving award. Look, I, I ain't trying to make a pass at you, fella. But if you're eastbound on the 36 this late at night, I'm assuming you're heading to Chicago, same as me. But now that our hot dog and friend has decided to feed the bears, you and me, we're gonna be boogieing together for the next seven hours. So you can either listen to me kibitz with the roadkill, or you can join the conversation. <laughs> Suits me fine. What kind of rig you got back there? Well, let me guess. Size and spread of those lights, I'd wager a 2009 Freightliner Cascadia. Now, that's a good, reliable truck, but that's also a company vehicle, which means you're probably some brainless fleet jockey who lets his dispatcher tell him where and when he can take a piss. <laughs> that about right, fella? Close. But it's a 2008, you hee-hawing motherfucker. as red as a baboon's ass right now. I, I shouldn't have run my mouth off like that. I'm sure you have to put up with plenty of loudmouth SOBs out on the road. Whatever, man. It's all good. That you up ahead in that chicken holler? Must have night vision if you can see that far. No, but judging from the amount of feathers I'm driving through, I'd say you're probably due for a new suspension. <laughs> Glad to have you along for the ride. So how long you been pulling for the fleet, driver? Just a few months. This is temporary, dog. <laughs> yeah, sure. Haven't heard that before. No, really. I'm just helping out my dad for a bit. Oh, family business? Sorta. We used to be team drivers. Well, isn't that just great? Yeah, you know, I always say family's the most important thing, ain't it? Especially in a life on the road. Yeah, I hear that. Say, can I ask you something? You ever hauled produce? Shoot, only for about five years before I got a lock on the poultry racket. You ever hear of someone bolt sealing a shipment? Bolt sealing? Vegetables? Now why in the heck would somebody need to do that? Unless they were hauling more than just corn. A sealed trailer. Now that could be anything. Drugs, plutonium, aliens. I'm, I'm sorry, aliens? Illegals, I mean. Bolt sealing. Why you ask? Just... Something I heard about earlier on the CB. Jeez, I, if I was in that poor chump's boots and they sealed my load before I could check it, I'd say, sorry, bucko, no thank you. Been there, done that, and got the t-shirts to prove it. <laughs> Driver, you okay? I see you falling behind back there. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, um, I'll catch up. Just, just need to get some personal things in order. 
uh, lady stuff. A big 10 4 on that. I'll leave you to it. See you in the next day. Voice messaging system. Mr. Caldwell, uh, this is Raylene Watts. Um, listen, I'm, I'm just outside of Hannibal, just about to cross the bridge into Illinois. Um, uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm really sorry to do this, but uh, it's, it's probably just me, but I'm a little concerned about what I might be transporting, and. I, uh, I think you mentioned having someone else lined up who wanted to take this job, and and I, I, uh, uh Terrell. Ray. Ray. Can you hear me? Where are you? The ER. His dad. He, he's a. Terrell, you need to calm down. What happened? I, I don't. I don't know. No one knows. He just blacked out, and they can't get him back. Ray, they're asking me all types of questions, and I don't know what to do. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Okay, okay. Just breathe. It's okay. How far How far are you? I'll pay for fuel, whatever you need. Just please, please. I can't do this alone, right? It's okay, it's okay, Shug. It's gonna be okay. I'm, I'm on the road. I'll be there in a few hours. Cynthia Arrivo as Raylene Watts. Written, directed, and edited by Dan Blank. Produced by Rob Herding, David Henning, Brian Cavanaugh Jones, Fred Berger, and Cynthia Arrivo. Recorded, mixed, and mastered by Salt Audio. With performances by Robert Longstreet, Lamorne Morris, Chris Ellis, Byron Bowers, Dale Dickey. Joel McKinnon Miller, Josai Curtis, Sidney Thomas, Elliot Schwartz, Dan Blank, Perry Matfeld, Sheila Carrasco, Paul Hewitt, Lance Reddick, and Elliot Gould. Original music and score by Jamie Sheffman, Noah Gersh for Salt Audio. Sound design by Sam Plattner. Dimensional audio design by Salt Audio and Dan Blank. Associate producer Tess Ryan. Script supervision by Sam Beasley. Casting by Chelsea Block and Marisol Ron Kelly at Atomic Honey. Additional country music by Mr. Paradise. Blues harmonica performances by Chef Dave Rozier. Recorded at Todd A.O. Studios. Hello, listeners. We've launched a Q-Code merch store. You can now pre-order items from some of your favorite shows, including Baraska t-shirts and hats and even an edge of sleep candle. Head on over to shop.qcodemedia.com to check out all the offerings right now. Plus, the first 50 orders will get a free Q-Code patch. Again, that's shop.qcodemedia.com. Plus, if you want an extra discount on your merch, make sure you sign up for Q-Code Plus to unlock a 10% off code. More pieces and more shows are being added to the store all the time, so be sure to check back frequently. We also want to hear from you, so send us a tweet at Q-Code Media and let us know what shows you want to see some merch for. And that's this week's show. Please check for Carrier's show notes and links at sonicsociety.org. Join us next week for a special audio drama feature with an Academy Award-winning actor driving the plot. Until then, for Jack Ward and myself... I'm David Alt. Have a lovely week.
Sonic Cinema Production. Hi, my name is Tracy Babian, co-author of the Carlson Chronicles podcast. My husband, J.A. Babian, the main author, had a triple stroke in the latter part of August of this year. Jerry was lifelighted to Tulsa, Oklahoma, with a brain bleed that the doctors thought they were going to have to do surgery on him, which surely would have killed him. Thank the Lord they didn't. He survived that brain bleed and swelling, but he is in need of so much for his recovery. I have started a GoFundMe to help with all the costs that I just don't have. I retired back in April of this year so that I could take care of Jerry, as he was starting to show signs then that I just didn't catch. Little did I know this would be a blessing in disguise. He is fighting this setback of memory loss and 75% use of his right leg, arm, along with his cognitive speech. Considering the doctor said he would not make it, I consider him to be a miracle. Medicare has only granted 12 visits of physical and speech therapy twice a week. He needs at least six months worth of speech therapy alone. That is a total of $4,000 we need to pay up front that I just don't have. So far, we have had $775 in donations of the 10000 we need come in. Please donate today so that he can get his needed medication, therapy, and also help pay bills that Medicare just will not cover, even if it's only $5. I update this account so folks can see his progress. You can go to my Facebook account, Tracy Babian VO, to find the pinned link with the title Jerry Babian Stroke Victim Needs. Jerry says, thank you. I still have a lot to write on my stories that I want to get done. Please help me to achieve that goal. Thank you in advance for your donation. Tracy Babian.